to step up to the next level and have to do things that other guys don't do. So again, a workmanlike round for Ross, and again, I would have to think a winning round. Welcome back, round number nine. And Ross seems pretty full of life, but not so for the challenger Sims, or I guess you could call him a challenger. <laughs> well, let's just say the other guy in the fight. Exactly. <laughs> it's not to say that he's not trying. He is trying. But, you know, the, the tactics are open to question. Sometimes the intensity. He hasn't really been able to maintain a high level. No, just very few spurts for Sims. And he wanted to keep the fight more at long range. He hasn't been able to do that. He wanted to keep the fight in the center of the ring. He hasn't been able to do that. He wanted to give him angles. And he hasn't been able to do that. No, but he, you know, on occasion, he's been able to land some decent shots. Generally, when his back has been on the ropes. But you just can't win this fight that way because Ross is the more active guy. Ross has had all the adversity in this fight. He's the guy whose eye is closed. He's the guy who's cut over the left eye. You know, his, his, his right eye is almost swollen shut. And he's the guy who's kept his intensity up. And Sims really has not. Consistently out jab the man whose specialty he told us is the jab. Exactly. So that's you know that's all to the, the credit of Troy Ross. Slapping miss by Sims. Both guys are a bit careless in this round. Yeah, I think wild. we're seeing some fatigue here. But, you know, you can't even say that Sims stopped trying to win the fight because I never really had the feeling that he was confident he was going to win the fight. No, and if he ever was, it was when he got that eye swollen yeah, rather yeah. early in the fight. That's about right. left hand is just a little short and Ross just trying to keep his distance now I mean you know he's been banged up a little bit obviously got some problems with both eyes I think at this point he knows he's pretty comfortably ahead yeah I mean at this point he's fighting the right fight oh yeah Not a bad right hand there again got Sims going backwards coming to the end of round number nine and really just more of same don't push him in the dressing room of Adrian Diakonu, the champion, loosening up with his trainer. Puts his undefeated record and his championship belt on the line against another fighter from Montreal, Jean Pascal. I guarantee that one will be better. Or your money you back. That. You that. <laughs> or your two hours back. <laughs> this is round 10. Final round, last chance for Michael Sims, and I'm just not convinced there's enough there. No, nah, I think, you know what? Michael Sims is in survival mode. He's going to get to the finish line here, and the next time he fights, somebody's going to say, well, he's lost seven of eight. He went the distance yeah, every time. Exactly. Sims trying to do a little bit more. Wow, look at that. Sims has landed 14 jabs in the entire fight. Not good. No. And Ross wailing on Sims with his back to the ropes. Now in the center of the ring. Good oh, he's shot now. And now they're going to say low blow. Low. Apparently so. And he will be able to take some time here. Take a look at it. Referee's trying to hurry him back in there. Let's take a look at the shot first. Wow, that's that's a five-minute job. I would think so. Yeah. There's no rush. Not a 
crowd doing, but okay, you can take wait, up to wait. five minutes, perfectly legal. Dive in! And they never says, do. Oh, you know, they never do, I know. It's the macho thing that kicks in. So here we go again. Pretty good left hand on the inside there by Sims. Kind of trying to cover up here. Stay out of harm's way. Got there with a the right hand of his own. Well, you know, in fairness to Ross, he has been pushing the bigger man around most of the fight. Yeah. Obviously, it's tiring. You know, Sims has got long arms. He's got a ton of, you know, he's got a bag full of survival tricks, and he's used them all. Soaking them up. Maybe now we're starting to see a little sag. Maybe in the Maybe. final 25 seconds of this fight. Good left hand. Sims has nothing left. He's, He's really held. Held. He's being held up by the ropes. No. And that'll be a standing eight. Two. Three. And Sims has Four. nothing left. Five. Six. Now surviving would be uh, eight. a positive right. for Sims. Yeah. All right. Three. I think the referee's going to really walk out this clock. We've got two seconds left. Sims has no legs left. Time for the time for and the fight is over. I thought that bell was a little bit premature, but well, Sims does survive. It's not going to change the outcome. It wasn't too soon for me. No. No, that, that was one of those fights that was over before it was over. Yeah, you know, good effort by, by Ross. You know, maybe he could have done a bit more in those middle rounds to, to try and get his man out of there. But certainly, you know, if the fight's 30 seconds longer, I think he's got himself a stoppage. Yeah. Which is a bit of an accomplishment against Michael Sims. Well, he warmed down, and he did have the swelling of his right eye early in the fight. It didn't get any worse. His corner did a very good job on that. Then the cut from the headbutt. So he was a guy who looked in the mirror tomorrow and probably looked like he lost the fight. But in fact, it's going to be a pretty easy win. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the... Uh, this is right at the very end. I'm not sure if they call it a standing eight count or they can actually call it a knockdown if the man's only supported by the ropes Maybe. Was, uh, oh take a look I mean clearly he was he's on spaghetti legs here it's Ross just wailing away and see right there he's kind of supported by the rope and Michael Sims upset because he wanted to do what he normally does and that's go the distance take another look at it here No question in the conditioning of Ross. I oh, mean, yeah. No, you're absolutely very fresh. right. So a very lopsided win for uh, Ross, I'm quite sure. I don't, I don't want to speak would, for the judges. But I, think I think you're pretty safe I there. feel safe. I mean, look, look at that. The number's absolutely bearing that out. Let me just put it this way. Michael Sims gets the decision. I've seen some bad decisions. I was with Roy Jones in Seoul, Korea. <laughs> this would be the worst decision I've ever seen yeah, in my life. I don't think you're going to see it. Uh, no. Nah. Fairly confident this is going to go the way uh, we're suggesting it might, and that is with Troy Ross. And we go up to the ring announcer, Christian Gauthier, for the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of 10 rounds of action, we now go to the judges' scorecards. Mesdames et messieurs, voici maintenant la décision des juges. Le juge de Carufel remet une carte de pointage de 98-91. Judge de Carufel scores this bout 98-91. Les juges Procopio et Roussel remettent des cartes de 99-90. Judge or judges, Procopio and Roussel both score this bout 99 to 90 for the winner by unanimous decision. Le gagnant par décision unanime, the boss, Troy Amos Ross. So Troy Ross, the contender champion, takes another step toward uh, what he hopes will be a real championship. And you'd have to say... Uh, it's a win that, while it might not get people sitting straight up in their seats and applauding wildly, it was a convincing victory. Yeah, oh, there's no doubt. It's, you know, it's the right winner, and, you know, certainly uh, 
you know, he did what he had to do. He survived some adversity here. But, you know, does it burnish Troy Ross's reputation a heck of a lot? Probably not. Probably not. But, you know, it's a win, and he did have to overcome something to get it. Exactly. And, you know, the fact is there might be a lot of champions now who say, hey, I'll fight him. Just thinking, you know what? I can beat him. Troy Ross is the winner. He moves on. We're coming back.